Let's delve into the geometric interpretations of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Imagine a two-dimensional plane displayed on the screen. Earlier, we found that the eigenvector of matrix A is 1, 0, when the eigenvalue is 3. Now let's quickly determine the eigenvector of matrix A for the eigenvalue 2. The values in the matrix A minus lambda i are 1, 0, 0, and 0. Thus, the eigenvector is 0, 1. The eigenvector of A is 0, 1 when the eigenvalue is 2. What's the geometric interpretation of these values? Let's plot two vectors, 3, 0, and 1, 2 on the plane. Denoting each vector as A and B, we proceed to transform the current coordinate space with matrix A. Consequently, coordinates of arbitrary points on the plane shift to new coordinates. For example, coordinates 1, 1 will be shifted to 4, 2. We can determine the new coordinates through matrix vector multiplication. Now let's examine why coordinates 1, 1 are shifted to 4, 2. From the endpoint of vector A, we can draw vector B, which eventually points to the coordinates 4, 2. In other words, the point at coordinates 1, 1 in the transform space is located at coordinates 4, 2 in the original coordinate system. What about coordinates 1, 0? They will be shifted to new coordinates 3, 0. Using the matrix, we can transform a coordinate space and compare changes in coordinates on the plane. There's something important to pay attention to here. Some vectors on the plane will remain on the same line even after their coordinates have been shifted by a matrix. Let's see which vectors behave like this. For example, the vector 1, 0 has been shifted to 3, 0, and both vectors lie on the same line with the same direction. Vector 0, 1 also behaves in a similar manner. If we multiply matrix A by the vector 0, 1, then we get a vector 1, 2. Oh, these two vectors don't lie on the same line. It is highly likely that I made a mistake, and 0, 1 is not an eigenvector of the matrix A. The values in the matrix A minus lambda i are 1, 1, 0, 0. If we multiply the matrix by the eigenvector for eigenvalue of 2, we get 0. Thus, the eigenvector for the eigenvalue 2 is 1, negative 1. The coordinates 1, negative 1 are in the transform space, and we can determine their original coordinates through matrix vector multiplication. The original coordinates of 1, negative 1 are 2, negative 1. By plotting these coordinates on the plane, we can see that they lie on the same line and maintain the same direction. So do you see why the vector 0, 1 is not an eigenvector of matrix A? When the coordinates of an eigenvector are transformed by a matrix, they remain on the line spanned by the eigenvector. Let's consider another set of coordinates on this line. The coordinates negative 1 and 1 will be transformed to negative 2 and 2 by matrix A. In summary, any coordinates on the line spanned by an eigenvector will be transformed to coordinates still on the same line. Furthermore, eigenvalues determine the extent of this transformation along the line. 
Since 2 is an eigenvalue for the eigenvector 1, negative 1, both the coordinates 1, negative 1 and negative 1 and 1 have been transformed by a factor of 2 along this line. Another set of coordinates negative 2 and 2 on the line is shifted to negative 4 and 4 by a factor of 2 along the line. Conversely, coordinates 1, 0 have been transformed by a factor of 3 as the corresponding eigenvalue is 3. These explanations provide a geometric insight into eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Let's explore why these lines spanned by each corresponding eigenvector are crucial. During a matrix transformation, the coordinates of a point are relocated to new positions somewhere in the transform space. While other points outside this line struggle to move their new positions, the points on this line smoothly shift along the line to their new coordinates. In other words, while the shapes of arbitrary lines can be altered by the transformation, the lines spanned by the eigenvectors remain unchanged. This highlights the significance of eigenvectors and eigenvalues in linear transformations. Let's summarize the geometric significance of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Consider a matrix A with eigenvalues and eigenvectors. When you multiply matrix A by one of its eigenvectors, the direction of the resulting vector remains unchanged, although its length may vary. The length of the resulting vector is determined by the eigenvalue corresponding to the eigenvector. It's important to remember their geometric interpretations. However, eigenvalues aren't always real numbers, such as the case with 2 and 3 from the previous example. For instance, take a rotation matrix. If we consider a rotation matrix R that rotates space counterclockwise by an angle theta degrees, it has entries cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, and cosine theta. This matrix R rotates the space by theta degrees. Let's find the eigenvalues of this rotation matrix. If matrix R rotates the space by 90 degrees, its entries become 0, negative 1, 1, and 0. Subtracting lambda i from the matrix gives R minus lambda i with values negative lambda, negative 1, 1, and negative lambda. The determinant of this matrix is lambda squared plus 1. To make the determinant 0, lambda must be either positive i or negative i. Thus, lambda is an imaginary number. When the value of an eigenvalue is an imaginary number, it implies that the corresponding eigenvector also contains imaginary numbers. This means that there are no vectors that maintain their directions after the transformation by the matrix. Let's see why. The rotation matrix R rotates a space by 90 degrees, which means the direction of every vector where a line crossing the origin will be changed. Thus, Imaginary eigenvalues imply that there are no vectors on the plane that maintain their direction after the transformation. So remember that if you obtain an imaginary number for an eigenvalue of a matrix, there are no vectors that maintain their directions after the transformation. Let's quickly go over some of the useful formulas related to eigenvalues. The trace of a square matrix is the sum of its diagonal elements and also equals the sum of its eigenvalues, while the determinant of the matrix is the product of its eigenvalues. Matrix diagonalization is a key concept that underscores the importance of understanding eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Let's delve into the diagonalization process. For each eigenvalue of a matrix, 
there exists a corresponding eigenvector. If A is an n by n matrix, there can be up to n pairs of eigenvalues in eigenvectors. If Vn is an eigenvector of matrix A, then there exists an eigenvalue lambda n such that AVN equals lambda n times Vn. Since V1 through Vn are vectors in Rn, we can represent this n equation as a single matrix multiplication. The first matrix in the multiplication is simply matrix A while the second matrix comprises the n eigenvectors written vertically. Essentially, the second matrix forms a vector space with eigenvectors as its faces vectors. Both of these matrices are n by n matrices. The resulting matrix consists of n eigenvectors scaled by their corresponding eigenvalues. We can also express this matrix as the product of a matrix of eigenvectors and a diagonal matrix where the diagonal elements are the eigenvalues. Let's denote the second matrix as D and the first matrix as P. Then, the matrix above here is also P. We can now simplify the equation with symbols as AP equals PD. By multiplying the inverse matrix of P on both sides of the equation, we get A equals PDP inversed. Remember, if you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you get an identity matrix as a product. Let's explore the meaning of matrix diagonalization. Matrix D in the equation only holds information of eigenvalues. Matrix A can be represented as a product of three matrices. The first matrix is composed of eigenvectors of the matrix. The second matrix holds the eigenvalues as its diagonal entries. And lastly, the third matrix is the inverse of a matrix composed of eigenvectors. We can decompose matrix A into the three parts. Earlier, we labeled each matrix as P, D, and the inverse of P. Matrix diagonalization is the process of decomposition of a matrix.